Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. As always, I'm Chris and I've got a beer from Erdinger for you today. And it's a bottle of their Dunkel, which comes in at... You can never find it on these bottles. Where are we? There we are, 5.3%. There's the standard Erdinger style label, but obviously this time in a deep um, reddish brown we'd go with, I think. This is actually my first Dunkel. Obviously a Dunkel is just a dark German beer. Almost knocked my glass over before I filled it. Obviously the crown is the Erdinger logo. I don't know if it'll focus. But we've all seen that crown before. Yeah, let's get it into the glass and see what we've got. Obviously with Erdinger, you don't get a lot of info on the back of the bottle. And we'll let the beer do the talking. I've only just washed this glass out, so there's still a bit of water on the inside, trapping some of that carbonation, as you can see. But it is a clean glass. Now we've got a rich brown beer. Holding up to the light, it's quite deep amber in colour. And there's half a finger there of a pale tan head. It's not quite off-white, but it's not quite a full tan either. There's a slow but steady carbonation rising up through the glass and at the base of the glass the uh, light bleed through even holding it here rather than up to the light you can see the light bleed through. It's quite a rich reddish brown at the base. Okay, let's have a look at it. Very malty on the aroma there. It's a really rich bready malt. Have some jamminess as well. A bit of a touch of plum in there. Yeah, plum. Definitely brown bread malt with just that tiny undercurrent of plummy jam. Smells good. In fact, it does actually smell like some traditional London porters in a way. Not completely, but there is just that slight reminder. Mm. So, anything to do now, is to Give it a taste. Ooh. That's nice. Yeah, it's very malty. And that malt, the flavour is brown bread malt as well, so the aroma does carry that through. You are getting that slight fruitiness coming in. And the bitterness is more bittersweet. There's a touch of sweetness coming in at the back end as well as in with the malt. You can feel the carbonation on the palate, really opens up the flavour there. There's hints of caramel or burnt sugar, a bit of toffee maybe. And that really does lend itself to the sweetness. I tend to think of the darker beers as something to have in the autumn or the winter. Something to sit down and enjoy slowly over a few, you know, by the fire with a good book or something. And I could see that with this one. I could also see it 
late in the evening, in the middle of summer, just as good then. It's very smooth drinking. It's not too rich. That's why I think it would work well as a summer drink. And even the flavour does put me in mind of some traditional London porters. It's not massive, it's just that slight reminder if you like. It's a very nice drink. Would I drink it again? Definitely. I'm really enjoying this one. Because it's very smooth. It's a nice easy drinking beer. Very enjoyable. I mean, that is something I could go back to again and again. And I'm definitely looking forward to trying some more of the Dunkel style. Oh, wonderful. It's even got that nice sort of toasty character. Mm. Very fine beer indeed. Uh -huh. Cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down there. I will of course pop the links for my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram right down there in the description box. And I'll see you all again next time. Happy drinking. <laughs>